Hello, my name is Trisha and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own DIY movie theatre snack tray. Using just a cereal box, you can bring the movie experience straight to your home, fill it with lots of your favourite treats and snacks and a drink, and enjoy it on your next family movie night on the sofa. To create your movie theatre snack tray, you're going to need an old cereal box, some paper, you can use coloured or white, a glue stick, pencil, scissors, markers and a ruler. You'll need some tape, it can be masking tape or cellar tape. You can use some decoration also for your tray. You can use whatever stickers or diamantes you might have. We're also going to need some shapes to create the holes for our snacks and our drink. You can get a bottle or a cup to use to create the hole for your drink. You can find some different shaped tubs that you can use also, and these will create the shapes to put your treats and your snacks in. The first thing we're going to do to create our tray is we're going to close the opening of the cereal box. You're just going to fold down the lids like this. And then you can get your tape or your masking tape to cover it. The next thing we're going to do is arrange where we want our drink and our snacks to go. I'm using a cup for my drink. You might use a bottle or a glass. So I think my cup wants to go there. And I want a rectangular shape for some of my snacks and maybe a circular shape for the rest of my snacks. So now I've worked out the positioning, I'm going to trace around using a pencil. are doing a glass or cup that is straight up or down you can keep the circle the size it is if you're using a tapered cup like the one I have it will sit down further so we want to make sure it's wide enough to fill the whole cup so we're going to now go around the outside of this circle to make it slightly bigger to fit the width of the cup Just using my inner circle as a guide to go around and I'm going to put that in marker so you can see better the next shape I want to do is my tray and the same thing I'm just going to trace around it And then getting my final shape for my treats. You want to make sure you have a good gap between the edges and where you have the outlines for your treats. And I'm just going around again so you can see. So now we have the outlines for our treats and our drink to go into and we want to cut them out. If you have a big person with you, they can help you with this. Though there is a trick to doing it that makes it a little bit simpler and that is to use a sharp pencil. And what you're going to do is create an indent using the nib of the pencil into the circle by pushing in to create a hole and you can go around and do this a few more times 
and back over. create a gap. You're going to use that gap then to put your scissors into and then cut around your circle. And you're going to repeat the process for each outline and gently pushing in and hold underneath the top of the card now in here help you and again it creates a hole for your scissors and now you have your tray ready and should fit your bottle or your cup and have lots of space for your snacks so next thing we're going to do is cover our tray with paper. You can use colored paper, tissue paper, or white paper. I'm just using white paper. And what we want to do is get white paper that will cover our long sides and our short sides. And the easy way to do that is to use your box to trace around. So I'm lining up my box against the edge of the paper, hold it in place and tracing the straight line. So I'm going to need two of these. If your box is bigger, that's okay. You can use a couple of sheets of paper overlapped. And now I need two of these. And the same thing. I'm just going to measure up against the edge. Now we're going to just cut the paper out. So now I have my long side, my short side of the box, and now I want to get the paper to cover the top and bottom. So this is the bottom of our tray. I'm just holding an A4 bit of paper against it. Just near enough the same size, it'll do. So again, you're just going to measure it up against whatever paper you have. these out. So now we have a paper cut out and ready to decorate. I found it easier to colour it in before we stick it on. So you have a bottom sheet and that can be plain, you don't have to colour that. You can just colour the top sheet that we're going to use to cover this and the side sheets that we'll use to cover this. So for mine, I'm going to go for classic red and white stripes for cinema, but you can use any pattern you want. stripes to line up if you want. So this is going to be 
for the top of the tray and then this will be at the side. So just in case you're doing stripes, I'll show you how to do that. But you can do stars or circles or anything you want or write words even. So I'm just using my ruler to copy the straight line going down. So now we have our sides for our two long sides and we have our top and now we just need our smaller two sides now. And for this one I think I might go different and go horizontal instead of vertical. So now you have your top, your four sides, and your bottom. And the next thing we're gonna do is attach it all onto our tray. So we're gonna put glue on the back of our paper. I'm using a glue stick, but you can use glue. And you wanna make sure you have lots of glue on. So I'd go around the outside, first like this. Get all your edges, and then do a big X in the middle from corner to corner. And then you can stick that onto your side. And now you're just going to do the rest as well. as well. And the same thing, you're going to go around the edge like this. And then do a big X in the middle, but this time because it's a much bigger piece of paper, I would do another line up here and another line across. Now, to do the top, it's slightly different. So we're going to put the paper on top first of all by gluing it down. We're going to need a lot more glue this time. So we're going to go around the outside and a big X in the middle and a plus sign as well. And for extra safety, I would go around all the way around, particularly around the edge, the edges of all your shapes and cutouts. So now we need to know where are our holes gone. So we're going to find them by gently patting to see where they were again. So this was my cup, I can feel it. So gently feel where the edge is. And I'm going to put a little hole in here gently with my pencil. find the edge. So I'm just going to cut here until I meet and then cut a plus here. 
And I can already see that's where my pool was for my cup. Just gonna snip in until you meet the edge. And you can begin to fold it in. See where the fold is, you can cut. So that was a circle for my cup. And I know I had another circle here. So I'm just going to gently push in to my fine brush, just paper and not card, and make a little hole where I feel the cardboard. And the same thing, you just cut across here till you meet the cardboard. And the next one, I know I had a rectangular shape here. So same thing, just you can put your finger inside now, even to help you feel where the paper and cardboard is. And guide along and you'll feel the cardboard underneath. And you're just pushing the pencil in where the paper is to create a hole. So you can get your scissors in and do a line across until you meet the edge of the cardboard inside. And decorate. You can do some drawings and stick them down if you wish, or you might have your own stickers and demo dish you want to use. I'm going to do some drawings for mine. I want to have um, a ticket for a movie sticking on mine. You might want to do things like stars or Oscars or drawings of popcorn, anything you wish. So now you have your movie theater snack tray decorated and covered, ready for your snacks. So now the exciting bit, let's get all our treats ready for our movie night. So to put our treats into the tray, 
We can use a few different things to hold them. You might want to use the original containers that you traced out, or you can use a napkin. It's a paper napkin. And you can push it in to the hole like this. And that is perfect for holding any crisps or popcorn. If you don't want to use a napkin, you can use grease proof paper as well, baking paper. Use this for my popcorn. And use this for my sweets. Or you might have fruits and nuts. Any kind of snack you want to eat. And then finally, we can put our bottle or our cup that we're using for a drink inside. And there you have the finished movie theater snack tray. So I hope you had lots of fun creating your super cool snack tray and you'll be able to use it on your next movie night, bringing the theater experience straight to your home.